Hello again, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about project burndown charts. In order to begin with this, first of all, let's define what's a project burndown chart. A project burndown chart is a graphical representation of the work left to do versus time. In order to begin with the, this diagram, the project burndown chart, let's talk briefly about our project. I have developed this a spreadsheet for a small project. The project name is Fence Wall for HQ Building. The project manager is Martin. The project will start on March 1st, 2022 and will be completed on April 15, 2022. These are the list of activities and we have our resources here to, to who we, we have assigned every single activity and every activity start date and end date and duration in working days. Besides that, the percentage completed of each activity is given here. If you take the percentage completed less than 100%, the status will be automatically uh, updated to in progress. If you leave it to 100%, it will be automatically completed. Besides this table, there is another chart on the right which is getting updated when you change the stats of each activity. As you can see, for example, I'm putting the steel bars cutting, bending, and installation to 40%. As you will see, the burn down chart is getting updated as well. So, what does that represent? If you can see, the red line here is the actual tasks remaining. And the blue line is the plant task remaining. So our project team want to see their progress that how many tasks are remaining. This is the blue line, this is our baseline, this is what we have planned. And this is what we are actually doing inside. For example, if I put every single activity less than 100%, you will see the total number of tasks. Let's this is 2, update this is 2, and you can see the number of tasks that we should do is 12. 12 tasks are remaining to be completed. And our today's date is somewhere here. We are at the 7th April. We should have only 2 tasks remaining, while we have 12. So from here, looking at the project burndown chart, you can measure your team's progress and performance. So for example, I'm doing it like 100%, 100%, 100%, and let's keep it all up to here, 100%. You can see this two smooth lines, and it's in here the value is 2 as you can see here, and two tasks are remaining, which means that we are going very well on schedule. But in actual, the things are very much different. This, this task might be 100%. For example, let's assume this 100% as well. This is 70, this is 50, this is 20, this is 20, this is, for example, 10, this is 0, this is 0, and this is, for example, 15. Let's say this one is 100. As you can see now, at this point, we should, we should have had five tasks remaining, while in actual, as you can see, we have nine tasks remaining. So this is how project burndown charts help you measure your team's performance, track your progress, and everything you need for your project. I have developed this very simple spreadsheet. If you wanted to have this, please do not hesitate to comment your email in the comment section. I will share it with you. And I have some formulas, for example, under behind this, I have a formula for this burn down chart and I have formulas for everything around here and you want to learn more about it, I will be more than glad to share this spreadsheet with you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the contents, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel.